Hello, my little chickens. I hope all is well on your farm. Uh, Payall's here. Today, we are going to briefly go over and do an informative information on chapter two of Larry Moss's book, The Intent to Live. This is the same one that I was using last week, just a different chapter. This chapter is titled Super Objective and Objective. What do you want? The information in this video is important to both new actors and actors who are seasoned. Uh, objectives are really, really big and they don't go away while you're acting. They're something that you are always going to deal with whenever you are doing a scene, a monologue, what so have you. So if you're new to acting or you're just someone who wants a refresher with an activity and this information, objectives are what your characters want in a scene. So for example, when you're trying to get another person on stage to do something specific in a scene, that is an objective. You're trying to achieve something. Stanislavski has what he called the system of wants. The system of wants for each character means the character's desires and objectives. Keep in mind that wants don't just start because the scene begins or you're finally on stage doing something. The character and all the characters in the plays have lives going on off stage that are occurring in the world of your play. So even though we're not seeing this information, these wants and objectives are still present in the play and they still exist outside of it. Characters have wants, dreams, achievements, and events in their prior life that we don't get to see that cause this deeply intentional and emotional dream desires. That is your super objective. The way that I like to break it down with my high school students is you can think of a super objective as something that your character wants by the end of the play. So kind of that overall arcing idea. They start here, they want this, they end up at the end of the play still wanting this or achieving this. So if we're looking at objectives and super objectives, think of it this way. What objectives or goals does your character need to achieve in their scenes before they can completely achieve their super objective, the overall idea? Every super objective has a justification or an emotional reason for that want. When creating these super objectives, I like to use what I refer to as SAT words. These are flowery and detailed words that create stronger feelings than what you typically might get just from saying happy, mad, sad, and so forth. So as opposed to thinking those, you would probably think more enraged, ecstatic. So for example, instead of using the phrase to destroy, you could instead use to obliterate. But think strong words, strong words with strong definitions that give you almost a physical aspect to it. It's something that you can do. And keep in mind that you don't make these up either. These are things that are given to you in the text. The author and the writer has provided the road for you to get to these objectives and super objectives. You just gotta do your actor's homework to deep dive into it. If you're just relying on the surface level of the script, you're not doing justice to the character you're playing. And of course, when deep diving into different characters and their wants, remember, you use yourself to act, but the character is not you. The character comes through you. <laughs> if you do not separate the character as written from your own life, you will miss qualities that come through and are so imperative to capturing your character's personality. Your character is able to stand on its own. It just needs you to make them come to life. The activity that we're looking at today is on page 30 and in the intent to live. Excuse my copy, it's a little beat up. I have it marked right here. We're looking at the system of wants exercise. This exercise can be done by yourself and should be done by yourself. It's focusing on you as a person and what your wants are. So how are you going to achieve your wants? So here's what you gotta do. You need to go through a day of your life from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep and you need to write down every single thing that you want including any subtle things like I want to get my hair out of my face I want to get the sleep out of my eye or I want this specific flavor of coffee or if you want to get real in depth I will make a call to my sister who I'm upset with and therefore I will make the call I do not want to make because I have to hide my feelings to try to get her to understand my point of view <laughs> Literally everything you want. Throughout the day, also write down and be aware of how you feel, how you and your body feel. How does it feel when you're hungry, when you're tired, when you're mad? Write down what it feels like. Then observe what you do about it. Sometimes you'll find that we want things and we know that they're bad for us, so what do you do instead? 
it doesn't mean that we didn't want the thing that was bad for us. It's you, for a specific reason, have chosen to do something better for your body. So for example, the system of want may start as, I want to take a nap, but it will eventually switch to, I will not take a nap and instead I will drink a cup of coffee to stay awake so I sleep tonight. And that's it, that's the activity. This activity revolves mostly on you writing stuff down and observing how you react to the stuff that you want, as opposed to me leading you in a specific exercise. So as we wrap up with today's video, keep in mind, you have wants all day, every day. It never stops. You always want something. That is why it is fundamental to understand your work as an actor. Your wants as a character and your given circumstances, which I'll go over in the next video, are bedrock, are the bedrock of life and are a part of every life. They are used in every single show and scene, as I said at the beginning of this video, they're not things that you just stop doing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an excellent day. Bye guys.